Yo, what's up everyone, Inverda here and welcome to more DD Tank and this is gonna be a little bit confusing but it's gonna be a part video where I'm gonna discuss a few things that I think the DD Tank game is going to need to update or fix and uh, as you might see already the this one right here is a little bit broken I think that, that has to something to do with the newest update but I hope that they will fix it soon but we're not gonna consider it that into the video mostly because that's their problem but I'm just gonna talk about few things that I think need to be implanted and uh, and hopefully the whoever is responsible of the updates and the, the game itself will take a note and implant the game the updates into the game of course one man can't have all the power like myself I can't make them to change the game so I hope you understand that mostly probably none of these will be implanted in the game but I hope at least few of them will be apparent so I'm just gonna start by with the road and with the, all the things that are on the road and talk about what's on them and uh, hopefully we can get to a very decent agreement so let's start with the magic house and uh, well here is nothing really super serious this was completely fixed that if you actually buy this you get 10 points received the treasure back and you might actually get a magic potion but this one the magic box this one is a little bit confusing because it doesn't really help you with anything if you try to recycle something like example these synthesized stones they are worth of 8 essence okay now let's take one energy stone that's worth 2 and 2 essence then let's take a sample the practice bill level 2 that's worth 8 and this one is 15 and this one is 5 so where you use the essence is for these items over here and actually you can see that you need at least a few thousands to get at least one of these things and it's ridiculous to know that you need a bunch to actually get somewhere and this needs to change because uh, they, ac they have to either increase the value of the items or they have to decrease the requirement of the essence because none of anyone would ever be able to do this in my opinion and the treasure map treasure box well this is because in the magic collection you were able to actually if you buy this you get a few points to unlock a one a tile like here you need uh, 10 magic house pockets but if you don't have any you need to pay a certain amount of coins like here you need 58,050 to unlock every single one but it says that you need 2,903 those point packets so it's not ridiculously too much since these costs 200 per piece but it can take you a while to get there but 
these are okay but this one needs to be changed either increase the value of the items or re decrease the requirement essence okay let's move on the DD statue is event thing so I'm not gonna discuss that at all the holy bond this is something that I really enjoyed of them bringing back however this is almost completely unusable because it can restore vitality every single day and what is vitality you may ask well it's this one I think I could be something else uh, let me check I think it's something in the rooms if you actually check here you have vitality left and I'm not really sure which or how much is the maximum amount of vitality in the day you can have but to be having uh, that much for myself the holy bond is completely useless and since it costs 10,000 coins just to get in and be 60 minutes there doesn't make any sense then the billboard this is something that I I'm not really sure why is this even here it doesn't make any sense it just gives you a certain uh, certain task that you can that you must complete in order to receive some items and some rewards and you can refresh these but I can't and you can actually add more chances if you want to pay 100 coins or you can complete the whole task by spending coins or you can just complete it naturally if you want to but there should be uh, this fresh refresh option valid every single time every single time you play the game because you most likely will never be able to do some of these things because there's so little players playing in uh, arena and mostly if there are they are super overpowered and you will never be able to defeat five players in arena that's just not gonna happen now let's move to the armory of oh, I have nothing here to add except well this thing I guess they could bring out uh, reduce the cost of this a little bit since it it is the same amount of price no matter where you go but I think they should bring uh, reduce the amount of energy stones because it takes a quite a long time to get there if you want to upgrade something with the method of course if you have uh, the guild arm liga armory level 10 then VIP level 6 then you get the maximum amount which is 25 but those that doesn't have it takes a, a ridiculously a long time then this one uh, I don't really have much here to say except the success rate is just uh, it's very random don't be going gun blazing and the prices is 190 which could be more cheaper but since you can get 10 uh, enhanced stones in a single month for free it's acceptable then synthesized stones these amulets can be bought by 50, 150 coins if you want to use that but I think these are n completely useless since you can just stack more synthesized stones together to increase the value and to increase the chances of getting that item but this price should be brought down a little bit it's too expensive and these ones 250 coins for one that is unacceptable that is way unacceptable 
how something like this can be more expensive than uh, the enhanced stone which is like a remarkable rarity and these gives you like 40 points to the armory and since you can get some of the items with VIP with level f like these almost for free it doesn't make sense they have to decrease the money or value of that this uh, I can't really say anything about here and here well actually I have something here that I must discuss uh, this one this doesn't make any sense because no player would ever do this I mean it makes no sense because the practice spell level ones give you 30 points for one pale this one gives you 300 okay and the requirement that you need to metallurgy into one pale you need 12 practice spell level ones so initially you're losing 60 points just to get one and uh, that makes no sense because you should never do that and the same problem goes here this is just outrageous because this one gives you 900 points okay and this gives you 300 points okay and uh, you, and you need 12 of these to craft one practice build level 3 which is unacceptable this is it is v it's stupid you're basically losing three times the much you're giving than you could possibly use for here if I now meta lookery I would lose the three times that I have just to get level practice build level 3 it makes no sense they have to decrease this to the point when it actually makes sense or they have to increase the value or the points of this practice bill actually gives and something that I must discuss that they should bring to the game level 4 and level 5 practice bills for a value of probably 15,000 and 30,000 or something of the sort because it's quite ridiculous if you get 900 points for one pill you could do a whole lot like uh, if you would have 1500 points in the practice bill level 4 or maybe 20 or 2000 or something of the sort, maybe 1800 then for uh, level 5 you would have like 27 or 3000 points, who knows, uh, there's no way of knowing but that should be implanted in the game as well and um, there is no um, there's no the what you call it the, the, the these ones these magic magic pill, pills those need to be implanted into the armor and the metallurgy as well and give those as well the same f function like the level 4 and level 5 that's my opinion moving on to the furniture uh, this is okay since it is perfect with the level 3 ones but they should give this function permanent stay that's just my opinion it really pisses me off when you have to separately go for 7 days or they have to increase the potential day at least to 30 days because it's it's ridiculous to go every single 7th day to have the attributes again back with the potential stones the cast uh, they should bring more gold uh, pearls back they should have a way to get them more frequently you don't get them anywhere except events 
and even then it doesn't even be isn't even there there has to be a better way to get them the refine this is something that I want to discuss also that you will be able to stack the same item into the same slot like here I want to have like all my 100 of this same thing into the same slot so I don't have to pull pull and pull and pull just to get a refined again it's it's a waste of time this should be implanted into the system but that's just me uh, spirit well nothing here to add it's it's okay and this one's the soul stone this is a very good example why this is a good price 20 pieces for one soul stone isn't bad at all this is something that you have to keep in mind that it's very very good very good uh, item and you can get them a quite a lot you need them quite a lot but it's not ridiculously overpriced like here this is just for level 1 slash 1 and uh, if you get higher it just gets higher but it's not ridiculously high price now let's move on to the workshop here uh, this is mm, okay doesn't need any changes but this absorb oh my god the absorb this is what I think is the waste of space or needs this needs a change immediately if you absorb something for example this the this the remaining day will actually go to the item that you used to absorb it to so this has seven days and this has 181 if I would absorb this to this this would have only seven days left remaining which is uh, makes no sense it uh, <laughs> I don't know why is that there but it's it is there and it makes no sense and the next thing that I want to talk about uh, let me look let me look uh, uh, that is almost halfway done so um, hmm, what should I use let's use this one so here you can actually buy chivalry experience and you can actually see that 90 coins is for one experience and what we have uh, we need if we want to level up we need to go 100,000 110,933 and uh, you can imagine that that is going to be a bitch because if we go to the next level we have astonishing 4,199,220 coins to get to next level and that's not even the best part that's not even the best because if we try to go with this we have 65,544,840 coins are you shitting me? That is ridiculous. I need seven hundred seven hundred and twenty eight thousand two hundred and seventy six experience to get to the next level. I mean, are you freaking kidding me? That's outrageous. And here you can actually see that it doesn't stop there because it's still twenty two million. But oh boy, it gets ridiculous if you look other people's like uh, those super high rings and bracelets. 
that they have used to get there. You have to be kidding me. There is probably hundreds of millions, maybe a billion coins of worth of experience. This, this right here, this needs to change. This has to be at least one coin of one experience. I'm not even joking because it's ridiculously overpriced or this has to be this I don't know how much this should be it's just it makes no sense it doesn't matter even if it's one coin then it would still be 728,276 coins no one would be buying that no one I mean seriously no one this has to change this has to be at least one one coin per one experience because it would be tolerable because if you check here let's go like this you need only 1740 coins if it would be one coin per one experience but no you have to pay 90 times more than you would actually have to that's ridiculous no one would do that and it doesn't even go very high it goes to plus one <laughs> what a joke and this one uh, I don't know what to hear add because it's just it's a very weird uh, mechanism Wow, it actually, yeah, it glitched. Wow, that's uh, let's not add, but oh, uh, never mind, it's broken anyway. So, this needs to be changed. This whole thing, this thing, everything else is okay, and the time thing has to change too. But this, this thing needs to end. Right, sorry about that. That wasted a lot of my time and yours time as well, but I had to get out of my chest because I was really annoyed. Now going to the Liga, um, the guild boss, this is something that uh, I don't really have anything to add. It's weird because only the guild leader can summon it, his packets. Uh, huh, huh, huh. yeah, I don't have to add anything here. It's useless. Just I'll just say that. And in the benefits, well, this one the this one is okay since it's good to have around the Liga shop. This is nice because they've actually added this into the game, but. What are guild badges and where to get them is beyond me. I have no idea where to get the gold, these guild badges. There's somewhere, but I have no idea where. They have these neat things, but where to get the guild badges is. I have no idea. It doesn't even tell you. Okay. Oof. Moving on to the boat yard. Um, I might have a few things that might be a little bit off. But I think I need to mention them. For example, uh, there should be more challenges I know that there is the nightmare mode but <laughs> only ridiculously high players would be able to tackle this and it's not even worth it but anyway this should have more difficulties this one as well this is alright this is alright and this one and this one this one and this one but 
then we have like four empty ones we have no idea what these are but uh, yeah and uh, it says that I will be able to enable boss fight but when I try to do that I confirm it and I need some warrior insignias that should be completely taken out that warrior insignia because you can't get them anywhere anymore so that has to be changed then we have single dungeons there's nothing so yeah that's good <laughs> then these mass apprentice master apprentice tries I don't really have much else to say for about this because I, you can't play these if you don't have apprentice with you which makes these unusable and these ones as well they look good in paper but when we try to look the rewards they might look amazing but you most likely are gonna get something like this or this or something of these weapon parts and they're not even worth it then we we'll move on to this one we have this Maya snake wand but seriously you most likely will get those parts and these are ridiculously hard and they take freaking long so yeah don't don't do that and something that I want to mention about the pirate land is that uh, if you accidentally drop out from the pirate land you will lose your entry and you will have to wait until next day to try it again this is very annoying of course there is no way to know that you will do that on purpose if the game lags out or you lose connection to the internet that's something that not no one can help you with but I think I think you, uh, there should be a way to to play this game in this scene again even if you're having a little bit trouble and these ones uh, they need these stupid tickets that you can only buy and uh, it's very difficult as well same goes to the emergency then we have the the steam factory that has normal hard heroic nightmare and guess what even the normal is freaking hard at my power so yeah that's that's funny yeah then we have the warriors arena now this one oof, oh dear and here you need those tickets again to get to the specific specific thing you want to play and these ones are hard as hell so yeah oh and something that I must say that they have to bring some kind of a bot mechanism that will help the players to play it in sport fights or in uh, adventure mode but here uh, oh dear it's just it, there has to be a kind of a way to make it so that you're not fighting against a player that has ridiculously high power or high stats that's just ridiculous and I don't really like playing sport fights because there's people with overpowered stats and they will just wreck you and something that I want to add into the game is some kind of a post like a giant metal thing that has arrows pointing 
to the location you might want to go like farm the crypt the battlefield the labyrinth the love things and when you go this way you have another one and another one and another one so you don't have to actually press your way to get there you just press once and you get there and uh, yeah bring back the action house would be nice but I don't think they will ever do that but who knows for this one I think they should completely scrap the idea of paying uh, uh, coins to get married is is just ridiculous and paying coins to get divorced is even worse and I just I don't know it's just a stupid idea they have to at least give them chance to pay for vouchers or gold like you see there I was at love and I get back here that's what pisses me off very much they have to implant that you will actually stay there if you go back from priest you will stay here then the labyrinth well uh, I don't have much here to add except the items could there should could be a little bit more variety and uh, yeah this should be given more time but that could be just me and here it's the same thing uh, let's talk about the farm um, the chippy since you used to have those pet refresh coup coupons you were able to refresh the merchant that would actually sell the pets for you but since they are unusable now they should be at least giving you opportunity to buy a one free at least the silver capsule Uh, and for this one you you need a vibe for this one I think this is this should be completely open to everybody because it's ridiculous if you're not married I think everyone should have a chance to get their hands into this feature even though they're not married I think that's that should be done and I'm back here and I have to walk again this is just very annoying and uh, well at the Colosseum I don't really have much to add except hmm, well I don't really have anything to add since you can buy chances you can buy them if you want and you can uh, buy off the recharge time all the cooldown then the cave or the crypt uh, I don't know about these ones I think they are fine but yeah that's probably all that I can give you in the running area and all the things that are a tree that can be uh, activated of course there's the gypsy merchant that appears only frequently and that should also change they it should always be active and I think 
the recharge and the refreshing should be more more free more freely like you have to wait at least an hour or something of the sort to get uh, to able to see the next line of items and uh, if you would refresh like five times with the honor you would actually get something something uh, rarer like a suit wings or something that uh, it's not really common I think that's would be nice and this like this uh, type of lamps I would mean for the arrow things that would point the way to get to a certain place much faster but yeah that's probably all I can tell you uh, give you right now next time I'll be covering these things at the bottom and the next time I will be uh, talking about these ones so hope you guys enjoyed and if you have anything that I missed or something that you want to bring out yourselves make sure to leave a comment so on that note stay awesome and peace out